What is going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, I am here to unbox, review, and show you the offer, which you've probably seen in the beginning already, all right? Of the Jordan Maxson 200 in white, red, and blue, okay? I bought these for 160 bucks. You understand what I'm saying? All right? So you already know these are stylish kicks. You know what I'm saying? You could play ball in them. They got good quality. You know what I'm saying? They're fashionable. They're all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, And look, they're Jordans. Can't go wrong with Jordans. You know what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? But before we unbox these sneakers, right? Let's talk about the NBA. What's going on right now in the NBA league? You know what I'm saying? In this NBA bubble, I've seen so much talent that I've never seen before. I think this NBA bubble brought out a lot of passion, you know, in, in teammates, you know, in, in, in these basketball players, you know what I'm saying? I've seen teams like the Denver Nuggets going to the Western Conference Finals, you know what I mean? And teams like Milwaukee Bucks, who had the number one record, getting knocked out in the, what, the second round? You know what I'm saying? So, it's crazy to me. Jamal Murray, like this guy is a superstar, you know what I'm saying? In the regular season, nobody was ever talking about Jamal Murray. I used to hear about Paul George, you know what I'm saying? Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, uh, Steph Curry, but nobody was talking about Jamal Murray. This guy is nice. He's talented. He is off the chain. You know what I mean? I have This NBA bubble just helped me to discover new talent. And I'm telling you right now, watch out for this guy, Jamal Murray, Denver Nuggets next year. Next year he's a super star. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? And by the way, guys, who, who do you guys think is going to win the NBA championship this year? I feel that at first I was rooting, okay, for the Miami Heat. And, hey, that's another team I got to talk about. Miami Heat. What the hell happened in the East? What happened to Miami? Miami was just a regular team that made it to the playoff, right? They made it. They make. They went from making it to the playoffs into going to the NBA Finals. Okay, against the, the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, if you ask me, I'm rooting for Miami to win. They're an underdog. I like what Butler brings to the team. Uh, he doesn't care about any adversity. All right. I like that he doesn't care about what kind of opponent he has to go against. Whether it's LeBron James, whether it's the Boston Celtics, whether it's Milwaukee, Bucks, they're going to knock everybody down one by one by one by one. You know what I'm saying? Um, Miami's a good team. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to see them win the championship. Although I feel like LeBron James' team is probably the best team in the NBA. Um, I'm surprised that the LA Clippers got knocked off so quickly. You know what I'm saying? In the West, you know what I'm saying? They got knocked off so quickly, they were favored to beat the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? I feel that the Lakers give everybody problems because they have such tall players, you know what I'm saying? They got like oh, damn near three or four seven-footers, you know? I mean, they got James, they got LeBron James, who's like like almost 6'10", you know what I'm saying? And then he could play point guard, play center, he could play anywhere, you know what I'm saying? And then you got Dwight Howard, and then you got Anthony Davis who can shoot play center, play anywhere, you know what I'm saying, I mean, like, it's, it, it goes on and on and on, you know what I'm saying, like, they just got a very, very talented team, and in, in my opinion, I don't, I don't want them to win a championship, <laughs> not because I'm a hater, I'm a LeBron hater, I just like to see somebody else, like, win the championship, besides the same people we've been seeing for years, that's all, everybody like the underdog, you know what I'm saying, but really, I wanted the Denver Nuggets to go to the championship, that's what I really wanted, but, Either way, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Right now, at this particular time, as I'm making this video, the Lakers are up 2-0 in the finals. You know what I'm saying? And I probably, I'll say they'll probably win it. Eventually, they'll win it. And LeBron James, they resort to that championship because I don't see anybody else that works as hard as he does every day on his body, every day on his game, dedicated, passionate. And if you wanted that badly, you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? And the funny thing is this. That team will be challenged every year, okay? Next year, they'll be challenged as returning champions. You know what I'm saying? I mean, teams are going to come at them every game, all right? They're going to try to go at LeBron James sitting on his throne. They're going to try to dethrone him because, obviously, James just tasted one championship. It's not enough. He's going to come up, come back next year. 
and try to win another one and another one. And he's, he's going to try to break Michael Jordan's records because most of the time, LeBron is compared to Michael Jordan every single day in your barber shop, on a train, at the at the at the at the store, at the hangout spots, anywhere you go. This guy has been compared to Michael Jordan. So you know what? I think it's it's balled up inside of him. Like yo, I'm gonna win championships. I'm gonna break records. I don't care if y'all compare him to Michael Jordan. I'm gonna be greater. And I don't know if you guys see it, but I see it that he's gonna achieve so much. That later, a few years down the line, and he's, on, he's 35 and he still looks good. You know what I'm saying? And when I say good look good, I'm just saying that he is in shape. You know what I'm saying? He's in shape for a 35-year-old. Who knows? He might play till he's 40. He might play till he's 50s. And if he does, I can guarantee you right now we'll break every record that Michael Jordan has ever had. So, uh, but in my opinion, though, in my opinion, I don't want LeBron James to win. I want, I want, I want another team. I want to see another team win. You know, so it's not about hating LeBron James. I like, I like what he does for the sport. But at the same time, I just want to see somebody else win. All right. And let's get back to these kicks right here. All right. Jordan Maxson, two hundred. All right. Are they basketball kicks? No, they're not basketball kicks. But the Kobe, you know what I'm saying? They'll be on the heavy side of basketball kicks because I feel like the basketball kicks are a little more lighter. They make the creator more lighter nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So, we're talking about endurance, you know what I'm saying? Because if a, a snicker is heavy and you're running for a long time, balancing the ball for a long time, you're going to get tired after a while, you know what I'm saying? And you're, you're going to fit on your legs. So, the Jordan Maxons, they're light, they're light enough, but they're not, but they, they're too, a little bit too heavy to play basketball in. But I'll say they're probably even like, okay to play balling. I'll say, I'll play ball with them, but I won't use it to play ball every day, you understand what I'm saying? Um... You know, if you play a ball every day and you do it as a professional, I would say try to get you some shoes that's created just for playing ball, all right? In my opinion, I'll play ball in these. You know what I'm saying? They got good quality. The soles are very, very strong. Um, let's take a look at it. Why, why am I even talking about these kicks? What, what I'm, what, let's talk about these things, man. Let's see what it looks like, all right? In case you don't have these yet, they come in a box that looks just like this, all right? Let me show you the bottom. Let me show you the back. Let me show you the other side. Let me show you the front. Let me show you the tongue. As you can see, the tongue here is leather. All right. Let me show you again. Let's give you a nice little slow rotating. You know what I'm saying? Nice little slow rotation. I forgot to mention to you guys that this got yellow on it also, and also on the back. I mean, just take a look at these things. It's just dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said before, I play ball in these. You know what I'm saying? Take a look at those rubbery soles. Like, you can take a look at these soles right here. They're mad hard. Like, very, very mad hard, all right? They come with the Air Max 200 bubbles, right? As you can take a look at it, all right? See those bubbles right there? Those are the Air Max 200 bubbles, right? They're comfortable. The soles are built very strong because if you take a look at, at the heels, they're very thick. You know what I'm saying? So that's why actually it makes me like these sneakers very much because of the thick, thick, thick soles. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are also designed after the Jordan 5s, by the way. All right? Just want to let you guys know that these are designed after the Jordan 5s. The back here has that little leather pass. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me give you a close look. All right? This part right here, and you see the yellow Jordan logo. It's all leather. All right? This is all leather also. All right, um, it's white, blue, yellow, red. I mean, it's, it's dope, man. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? Something different, something with good quality, something that's fashionable. Uh, it's 160 bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I got it for. I actually want to throw this shoe against the wall right now just to show you guys how tough it is. You know what I'm saying? Because it actually is, like I said, tough soles created just to I mean it's put together very very well you know what I'm saying I feel like I said again they were created after Jordan 5s alright uh, by the way guys you know um, there's some Jordan 5s coming out in November you know what I'm saying I think November 7th or something like that they got a two tone color 
I'm looking forward to getting those Jordan 5s, man. This is one of my favorite. Jordan 5s will be one of my favorite Jordans in the world, man. Uh, if not my favorite, and the most comfortable. But these right here, though, guys, like I said, I got you got to get your hands on it. If you like the Jordan Maxons, you like comfortability, you like the look, the classy look, and you love the Jordans, these right here remind me of the, like, all the older Jordans, you know what I'm saying? You know, they're not like the new Jordans, like the old Jordan. They got that... You know what I'm saying? They got the good quality to it, and they got the Air Max 200 bubbles to go along with it. Come on, man. It's definitely a steal. You know what I'm saying? Definitely a steal. I give this right here. You know I love the Jordan Max in 200s. I give this right here 8 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? I give this right here 8 out of 10. All right? I love the blue, yellow, black, and white color. Good combination. I know, I know it's a white sneaker, but... It's a dope white sneaker, you know what I'm saying? Plus, it's got that tough leather, you know what I'm saying? That tough leather, is, it's tough it's a t it's tough kicks, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your hands on it to know what I'm talking about. They have very, very good quality. I give it an 8 out of 10. It costs 160 bucks, you know what I'm saying? For a Jordan, it's not so bad, all right? I want to thank you, everybody, for watching my videos, okay? I've not come to the end of my video. Thank you for watching my video. If you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button right now. And if you're not... Well, what are you waiting for? Click that like button. Click that share button. Thank you again for watching my video. And until next time, just maybe, just maybe, I might see you with these on. Jordan Maxson 200. White, blue, yellow, black. It's got all kinds of colors in it, man. You got to get your hands on it. $160. You gotta get one. Here goes the on foot. I'm gonna see you guys later. One easy.